This music is already giving me anxiety. It's too cheery, and although I've never touched the game, I know what it's like. I did a Doki Doki Literature Club music reaction, and that was enough for me. Y'all requested this, you're making me do it, it's your fault. And I'm very much not ready, because this is, this is gonna mess with my head for sure. Look how nice and cheery and pretty this is. Hear the music? It's deceptive. I have to put my name in, should I put my real name in? But... <laughs> I'm talking to you. You like that? Matthew, it's fine. Hey! I see an annoying girl. Kind of friend you'd never see yourself making, but it just kind of works because you've known each other for so long. I don't know, I, I, I honestly can't relate because I think if I didn't like them, I wouldn't be friends with them. You're, I already called them annoying. She would oversleep more and more frequently and I get tired of waiting up. Sounds like she was going through some things, man. I almost feel better off running away. But what? This... I feel bad for saying Ori already. I actually hate her, she's awful, she annoys me. Every fiber of my being tells me to run away from her whenever she's near me, but you know what? I guess I'll be friends with her. <laughs> Ever slept again. Oh, okay, so it's a habit. Bro! I'm already being a dick. Oh my god. Am I reading too much into this? Because it feels very like, pretty mean thing to say to someone who's a friend, right? If I was hanging with someone and they were like, I don't want anyone looking at us like we're a couple because I'm embarrassed to be seen with you, you're awful, I hate you. Like, that's fucking weird, right? This is already too cutesy and I don't trust it. Have I decided on a club to join yet? I'm gonna be forced to join a club, right? That's what's gonna happen. The literature club, the Doki Doki literature, ah ha ha! Bro! Pump the brakes. I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. If you don't like her, you don't have to be friends with her. I'm sure she would rather that than being friends with someone who hates her. I don't actually trust her at all, like, you know, I know that my character's being really rude, but I, I, I do not trust her even slightly. Oh God, he's, he's being so mean. I mean, I guess he's not saying it out loud, but he's still being, that's pretty over the top. I was expecting to be in school. It's just like, let's go to school. School's over. <laughs> oh, he's not gonna react well to being compared to her, is he? Oh, okay. I, I expected him to be like, I'm nothing like you, I hate you, you're awful. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, look, you can be nice and say you don't have the same interests, but being like, there's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> you say, Ori. <laughs> My man's paranoid. This friend who is clearly interested in spending time with you and has known you for quite a while has invited you to come join her club that she's vice president of. And your reaction is just, I can't tell if she's that much of an airhead promising this. Maybe she has a plan. What's she trying to do? What's she trying to get out of me? Of course you let out a long sigh. You're that kind of person. I'm separating myself. I'm not, I'm not that guy, man. You're such a drama queen. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. You're spending time with your friend and you get a cupcake out of it. Relax. I hate me. I hate this person so much. Girl one. Pleasure to meet you too. See, Sayori's even saying nice things about me to him. You brought a boy. Is that not common? <laughs> it's gonna be like all girls. But they know my name. Oh, so now you're interested because it's full of cute girls. What a skeeve. The sour. You, you, you're calling her sour? Bro, all you've been is sour. She even made cupcakes and you're like, oh, she's so sour. Okay, so I kind of don't trust Monica. There's something weird going on there. I hate so much when characters just like are so obsessed with like romance or whatever that every time they meet a new person they go on about Oh how cute they are, they're so beautiful, they're amazing, they're out of my league, I could never get them Am I gonna just end up hating myself in this game? I mean I already do, I'm, I'm not gonna lie What's on the tray? Cupcakes? Little cats, oh that's adorable I'm still waiting for a turn to happen because it, it, this doesn't feel right why does he overthink everything? Every time he meets someone, he's like, what are they planning? Why are they get? why do they make cupcakes? What do they want from me? And then when you get a cupcake, it's not just like, I'm gonna eat it. It's like, I've got to find the way. How do I eat this? What's the best angle to bite this cupcake? Just bite it. Like, relax for once, you know? Haven't I heard? What? What do you mean, haven't I heard this song? No, I don't. Did I miss something? Or is this just, is this just meant to be confusing? It's like, haven't I heard this before? No, I just started playing. We never talked about, I don't know. It's fine. The tea just gave us permission. Is there something wrong with keeping tea cups in a classroom? Is that frowned upon? 
How is she trying to impress me? She's just making small talk about tea and books. <laughs> Why are they all calling each other out so weirdly? <laughs> oh, she was deeply flirting with me by saying how nice it is to read while drinking tea. What made you consider the literature club? <clears throat> Free cupcake. <laughs> I was sus on Monica at first, but she seems chill. Look at that. She just wants to help people get into literature. She wants to teach and do things that she enjoys. I like it. Okay, so she likes fantasy stuff. And world building. You don't have to make it a psychoanalysis, bro. You can just say she likes reading and really enjoys diving into worlds. You don't have to be like, it's obvious she finds her comfort in books and not people. That feels like foreshadowing, for sure. I mean, at least he also roasts himself. I, I, Yuri also spitting facts. I, li I like all these people. Oh, except for her. I, <laughs> here's the thing, you can hate horror, that's fine. I don't have a problem with her hating horror, but it's like, what kind of person when everyone's just like, oh, I really like this, I'm telling you, here's my interests that I really enjoy, this is why I like it. Like, I hate that. Cool. Hey, guess what, Natsuki? Who f***ing asked? <laughs> A poem. Okay, look, Monica, if she was actually gonna read that out, she's then in my bad books. I think exposing someone like that and putting them on the spot and just being like, ha, you know that piece of work that's really intimate and important to you? I'm gonna read that out and make fun of it. That's just such an awful move. Don't ever force her to share them though. Oh, bro, he said a nice thing for a second and then, oh, you're not very confident then? Maybe, maybe she's confident. Maybe she just doesn't want a stranger reading her poems. What a wild thought. Or if people don't want to share their stuff, that's fine. Natsuki doesn't have to get to a point where she's comfortable sharing her writing. Maybe it's just something she does for herself. Why is everyone so weird about it? And then she's like, oh, Yuri should share hers too. Nah, bruh. Let people have their personal stuff. A pop. I don't like this. Mm, I can see the logic, but saying, how about we make everyone uncomfortable? That way, it's all even. It's not, not the ideal scenario. He's like, I don't want to write a poem, and also, I'm not even really in the club yet, so... <laughs> oh, they're all gonna be so sad if he doesn't join. Oh, that's so sad. Even Natsuki is like, oh, I kind of actually wanted you to join. Again, he could think the same sort of thing and it would be fine, but there's just something about this skeevy dude thinking this that makes me so sus. It's like, ooh, how am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when all these girls are here? They're all cute and looking at me. He clearly has no experience with girls, but that also doesn't mean it's not weird to just be like, they're all so cute. They're all they're looking at me. I like this. I hate them all though, and Sayori's mean. I want to read her poems and. <laughs> Weirdo, weirdo. Red flashing alert, I don't like it. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I'd be pissed. <laughs> ah. I mean, I'd be super anxious about this. I wouldn't want to write a poem and bring it in. He's just doing it to get with one of them. And he doesn't even seem to care which one. If he was joining the club because he specifically liked one of them and wanted to get closer to her, that's understandable and that's fine. But just being like, I'm gonna join the club because it's got girls and maybe I can get with one of them. And I don't even care which one. It's just so strange. Oh, I do get to write a poem. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. I kind of want to impress Yuri. I like her. And she said she liked horror stuff. So maybe we go for a darker aesthetic. Graveyard. Oh, I can only choose one of those on each list? Damn. I was like, I'm gonna choose graveyard, explode, and ah. Uh. Okay, let's go for like something really philosophical. Existence. These are probably to go towards that Suki because of the baking. I think I'm gonna go intellectual. Let's give it a bit of a turn. So we've gone graveyard. I've already forgotten. Graveyard. Existence. What was the one I literally just clicked? I literally just clicked it and I forgot. It's gone. Empty head. Romance. None of these really jump out to me. Destiny. No. Sadness. Well, I said romance. Does unrequited kind of fit in with that? Like, that makes it sadder. It's like unrequited love. And none of this really fits in with the rest of the words I've said, like bubbles and graveyard. <laughs> kind of don't. <laughs> horror. 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 Ha ha ha. Yuri, I'm coming. Unending. That sounds depressing, half. 
I gotta choose 20 words. I'm gonna hurry this up, let's go. Initial reaction, no thinking. We're just gonna bust through these. Tragedy. Broken. Heaven sent. Oh, not suicide. <laughs> Entropy. Uh, fickle. Grief, that matches with graveyard. Starscape, give it a, a difference. Infinite Starscape. But it's insightful. Secretive 2. And we've got to atone. And the last one is Disarray. Great ass poem, if you ask me. Like he deserves any slack, what, why? Yeah, I mean, you know, didn't I straight up say that? Okay, I understand where Natsuki's coming from, but I did just say that I made the poem and brought it in and then I'm overwhelmed. And her reaction is, well, if you're not taking it seriously, then don't come around. What exactly is it about me doing the work and coming back in that makes you think I'm not taking it seriously? <laughs> Yuri's a little jealous. I'm a winner over. Oh, did she bring me in a book? Oh, that's so cute. That's really nice of her. Very thoughtful. See, I'm liking Yuri even more now. I hope my poem does work for her. So is she reading the book at the same time as me? That's adorable. I'm here for this romance. I feel like there's some parallels between the book and the game here. Saying that she needs to desperately choose who to trust feels like the game telling me that's what I'm gonna need to do. Desperately choose who to trust. And that no matter what I do, I'm gonna end up destroying most things. Lovely. How did you forget that Yuri is into those things? That is like the only conversation that happened the previous day. Right. I mean, villains are more interesting when they're doing so for their own understandable goals and not just because they're some evil psychopath. I am loving her analysis of an entire genre. Literally, I'm agreeing with her like every step of the way sit next to her and start reading that. Ah, smooth, bro. Well done. She does apologize a lot because she's anxious. Oh my gosh. Y'all. Y'all cheesy af. <laughs> yeah, of course it's distracting. How are you guys meant to read? Especially if you guys read at different paces. I mean, I know it's not really about reading anymore, but think of the logistics. <laughs> That's hilarious. He's just like, ah, oh, she's probably done. I mean, why are you gonna call around like that? Hey, I know that we're having this nice intimate moment when we're both reading the same book, but how about I like filthily read you? Ha! <laughs> it's like, I don't like that about me. Seriously, I do like Yuri. I worry that she's just gonna like die or something. Everyone's pulling up their palms. Okay, who should I show it to first? See, I did write it thinking that I wanted to spend more time with Yuri, but I just spent a whole bunch of time with Yuri. And I kind of want to break things up, like not just spend all my time with the same person. But my dilemma is that I don't really like Natsuki. I don't trust Monica. And Sayori is just not that interesting to me. Maybe then I'll choose to show it to the person I don't like, because maybe that'll make for an interesting situation. Let's go. Come on, Natsuki. If I'm not gonna take it seriously, I just said I'm gonna show you my poem. What? Yeah, I, oh my God. Was that her reaction after reading it? Oh my God. So she hated it? Wow, she's so mean. <laughs> wow, just put her in her place. Yeah, you should apologize. That's so bitchy. I tell you what to improve, but you're better off just trying again. Not even any criticism, just this sucks. Throw it out. Do completely different. Monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Okay, I can see what she was trying to do, but she's gonna be so harsh and trash my poem and then show me that? Oh my god. If I can tell her her poem sucks, you damn well better believe I'm gonna do that, even as just vengeance. She does not deserve these kind words. I do not like her. Like at all. Are y'all gonna go off at me in the comments for my hatred of Natsuki? I don't know if she's like a fan favorite, but I can't, man. I, I'm gonna try to avoid her from now on. I mean, at least my character is like, yeah, I'm not gonna take it away from her, it's fine. Let's show Yuri. Oh, so she thinks it's actually good. He's gonna hate me. Oh, maybe she thinks it sucks too. 
You can just say it's good. You don't have to have an excuse. Interestingly, what she's saying about new writers trying to jam and form fit these styles in such a way that a bunch of aspects are weakened is actually very true. Once again, she's killing it with these facts. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flick her back. That is sincerely a dope ass poem. It's actually hilarious that she was like, it took you a long time to read because I was there trying to like, what's it say? Is that a comma? <laughs> oh, I thought it was about the, the street lights. Is it not really? Well, I mean, like I thought it was dealing with this like symbolic gesture of time passing. Where on earth did he get ghosts from? Can I see my poem? I want to know what my poem says. Let's go Monica next and Sayori can go last. <laughs> I love that she laughed being like, ah, it's embarrassing, but it's fine. I guess even though everyone does seem uncomfortable about it, at least it is a way to break the ice. Is Natsuki gonna be like literally the only one who doesn't like my ball? I knew it! I did it right for Yuri! Hell yeah! Now I'm just so curious what Sayori's gonna think. I feel like Monica's poem is gonna be like over the top too good. Monica is also being so nice, like so encouraging, telling me to try new things. Don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. Don't worry, Monica, there is no way in hell I'm gonna listen to Natsuki. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know, I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late, my retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright, it was too deep. Stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. I mean, yeah, P pretty, pretty ominous. I wonder if there's anyone's poem he's just gonna like, hey, like Sayori, he's like, you suck. <laughs> Yeah, you look, this is actually pretty similar to a motto I go by, which is finished, not perfect. Because no matter how hard you try, something is never gonna be perfect and all you're gonna do is just halt your progress. Sometimes it's best to finish it and move on. Okay, that was a really pleasant interaction. I feel less suspicious of Monica now. She seems chill. Oh, she actually liked it. I expected her to say, it's, I hate it, it's too complex and complicated. Damn, Sayori is really like hammering home the encouragement and being a really good friend. Why is he so annoyed by her? She's so caring. I like her. I'm very, very curious to see what she wrote though. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Look, I can acknowledge that it's simplistic, but also, I don't know, it's kind of a vibe. Maybe it means like I want to go and start the day and do things. <laughs> she wrote it like last, last minute in the morning. Sounds just like you. Sounds like he's insulting us. Did I just read too deep into that? Because I was like, oh, that's a nice deep line about wanting breakfast. Nah, girl just wanted to eat. This has been a strange vibe in this day. Is that going to be the end of the day then? That really did take it out of me, I'm not gonna lie. So they're reading each other's as well. Do they just hate each other's poems? I really do hate Natsuki. She seems like one of those people that is unable to feel good about herself unless she's putting someone else down. Sorry if I've just called people out for like a uh, Yours is cute. <laughs> I love that Yuri is kind of roasting Natsuki. That's because I don't care about your suggestions. Wow! She's so rude. Hell yeah, Yuri, stand up for yourself. Beat her down. Oh god, is she gonna be angry about me liking her poem? Where's this crazy coming from? Well, I mean, she has been crazy this whole time, but it's like, I said I liked her poem, so she takes that as a personal affront. How hard does she have to try to be upset? You're mean. Oh, damn. Yuri is reading her to absolute filth and I love it. Wow. Okay, hello, Natsuki? Yeah, I think, I think she's being real mean. 
She did not start it. You started it by being absolutely awful and mean about her pop. The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Both writing styles can be valid, but saying that you have to spoon feed your audience is a very interesting take. Do I get to choose who to side with? There is absolutely no way I'm not siding with Yuri. Absolutely I agree with Yuri. Yeah. Yes. God. Yeah, it is exactly what happened. She's awful. The thing is that while Yuri didn't exactly express her feelings about the poem super nicely, Natsuki was already out there like, this poem is just too, too convoluted and blah, 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 and then tossing the paper away. So yeah, of course Yuri's already gonna be flustered. Yeah, she, she's being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure and that's, yeah, I just, seriously. I don't feel bad for it all. She's being rude, she's being mean. Get out of here. Yeah, Sayori's like, leave, get out of here. Good. Oh my god, she's awful. I hate her so much. Like, so, so much. You guys have no idea. Such a frustrating person. I could not deal with having her in my life in any capacity. Oh, what a wild ride this has been. <laughs> oh, she came back. Natsuki came back. Yeah, it was fine. It was an interesting experience for sure. The same thing, we're gonna do another one? Oh my gosh. Are we gonna have to make a poem every night? Oh my goodness. I'm coming around on Sayori, she seems nice, and she had a good valid opinion when it came to the whole Natsuki thing, and even suggested like, go for a walk. <laughs> it's not a regular occurrence. I'm surprised considering Natsuki seems to be so antagonistic. I still can't explain how skeevy I feel like this is, like this weird ulterior motive. Just go with the flow, man. You don't need to be so obsessed with it. Okay, I think now that we've made it to the second poem, it's as good a place as I need to leave it for now. At the end of this so far, I am very intrigued by this. I feel like it's a game that I could totally play more of because it's just already got a weird vibe and I'm not quite sure where it's going and what's gonna happen. I am a little surprised we haven't gotten more dark and weird stuff so far, but the confrontation and conflict there was interesting enough for me. So I'm in, just let me know down below if you'd like me to play more of this. Thanks for watching and take care of yourself.